interplay for me is the system of uh, of uh, joy and affirmation and always looking for the good and being able to change to improvise to be in the moment and that is also something that makes sense to me as a person who meditates and prays because that's what we do we pay attention to our thoughts and this whole idea of the wisdom of the body it's the wisdom of the body and it made perfect sense to me uh, coming from the theater being an actor you really have to learn how to use your body as an instrument it has to be at your beck and call for everything you want to create and I studied a lot of uh, mime, corporeal mime, and dance. And so being, being so aware of my body, um, the interplay idea of um, really paying attention, one of the, the most important things is noticing. We notice. Uh, notice what's happening. Notice, um, notice your breathing. Breathing is fundamental. <laughs> we breathe in, we breathe out, we pay attention. So the whole idea of paying attention, staying and creating in the moment, and the importance of, of play and joy, and realizing, I think, that the body is not just a, a container for the mind. Um, the body is, is a source of wisdom in itself. And there's an intelligence in the body. And one of the things I learned in theater that we say, and that I know from interplay as well, is that the body never lies. The body never lies. And so it will always tell you what's going on with you. And part of our challenge is to notice, pay attention to what is happening. And our bodies will always tell us what's going on. And when we don't pay attention, is when we kind of go off track and can and become ill and uh, it, that contributes to it. There was a time in my life when I couldn't breathe well. I had pneumonia, which I contracted overseas when I was dancing with friends in Africa, in Malawi, with an interplay group. I came home with pneumonia and almost died from it. And that is not an exaggeration. I was in the hospital, I had surgeries, I was on, uh, I was intubated and in a coma for a month. And so I could not breathe on my own. And the funny thing about being in a coma is that you actually are aware of some things that are happening around you and so I was aware of my breath and I became aware of every single breath and the importance of that and as I became stronger and survived and it was clear that I was going to survive um, just the sheer gift of being able to take a breath impressed itself on me that I could that I was alive breathing to breathe in and to breathe out always brings me to uh, a calm center. So when, if I'm, if I'm in the midst of chaos, I'm able to take a step back and consciously think, okay, just breathe. Take a deep breath because, and we know physiologically that when you breathe in and out, you take those deep breaths, it literally changes um, what's happening within your body and you're able to become calm. And so breath is fundamental to our awareness, to um, staying in the moment, and it's, it's just the heartbeat of life.